Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Efron Olive, and it's time for another edition of Playing Pauper. So this week, we are playing Mono White Heroic. You might remember this list because we did an instant deck tech of it maybe a month ago, back when Mono White Heroic was brand brand new to the Pauper format, and no one really knew if it was just like a flash in a pan 5-0 someone posted, or if it would develop into a real deck, and we know today, it's become a real deck, like Mono White Heroic is still putting up finishes is still being competitive, so we're going to give it a shot today, see how it goes. It seems like an interesting, really unique, and fun, kind of like aggro-y combo list. So anyway, like usual, going to do a really quick deck tech, especially since there are some changes in the past month. So the list we're playing today is not the exact 75 that we instant deck tech. This is a more like up-to-date build of it, but you should still check out the instant deck tech. I will link it in the description. Anyway, let's break down Mono White Heroic real quick to talk about the cards, talk about some of the changes, then we'll get to the gameplay video. So anyway, Mono White Heroic built around two heroic creatures, Lagona Band Trailblazer or Crow and Skyguard. Main plan of our deck is to throw spells at them and make them really, really big. So if we cast a spell on them, they not only get the benefit from the spell, but they also get a plus one, plus one counter, which lets them grow out of control really quickly. Backup creatures, Seeker of the Way, important for lifelink helping us swing races against decks like Burn, other aggro decks. Deathblade Elite looks really janky, but it's actually like the Abyss. We just put an Ethereal Armor on it, and then we provoke Delver every turn and kill all of our opponent's creatures while we're getting in with our other stuff. As far as our spells, Emergence Scathe, Chalmano's Blessing give us protection. Chalmano's Blessing is one of the newer additions to the deck, was not in the main deck of our instant deck deck version, but it's actually really, really key against a deck like Mono Blue Delver. If we get a Chalmano's Blessing on blue on a creature, it's basically just impossible for them to win. So it's a very good way to like steal random games as a protection spell that stays on the battlefield. Then we have Cartouche and Ethereal Armor. Pumps our creatures. Ethereal Armor's our main finisher. Cartouche gives us a 1-1 to sacrifice to Chainer's Edict and whatnot. Hyena Umbra, even more protection. The Totem Armor means if our opponent Lightning Bolts or Doom Blades or something, our creature's not going to die. Then we have a couple of pump spells. Defiant Strike cycles itself, gets us a plus one, plus one counter with Heroic, also pumps a creature until end of turn. Mutagenic Growth, just a great free pump spell essentially plus three plus three if it targets any of our heroic creatures since it gets a permanent plus one plus one counter also triggers a prowess on our seeker of the way mana base plain secluded steep then we have in the sideboard holy light and dust to dust as removal spells kind of strange removal dust to dust great against artifacts holy light not really exactly sure what this is targeting but eh, it can kill things standard bearer to eat opposing removal spells also shuts down boggles or if we run into the mirror we're gonna steal all of our opponents enchantments death speakers for black deck sacred cat recursive threat lifelink to swing the race against burn and that is mono white heroic so anyway let's get to the gameplay videos trying to keep the deck tech short like i said check out the full instant deck deck of mono white heroic linked in the description if you want a fuller breakdown and yeah let's get to it if you're looking for a fashionable way to support the channel make sure to check out the ixalan t-shirt over at mtgoldfishmerch.com. All right, playing popper time. Mono, white, heroic, and... All right, this is fine. I mean, we're missing any real heroic creatures, but we have creatures, we have spells. That's kind of what we want in this deck. Defiant, uh, Deathblade Elite. <laughs> Almost a Defiant Vanguard for no real reason. Defiant Death, pretty, pretty similar. Okay, affinity time. Well, we got sideboard cards for this. Ooh. All right. Laguna Band Trailblazer and Ethereal Armor. Get in for one. And pass the turn. Darksteel Citadel. And Prophetic Prism. And Frogmite. And Frogmite. And... <sighs> Mirror Enforcer. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, that's Cartouche. Go attacking. And yeah, let's Defiant Strike. Hit our opponent for seven. Not a bad turn three. Maybe this can work? Is this good enough? Is there any way it's good enough? Opponent, Thought Gas. Opponent's got kind of the affinity nuts, too. Their turn two was Double Frogmite Mirror Enforcer. And it doesn't feel like we're just straight up dead. If we can uh, win game one and then get to bring in our artifact removal, that would go a long way. Drum, number two. And a dog-a-dog. -dog. 
Yup. Opponent gets in with Enforcer. Um, actually, let's just take four. Down to 16. Opponent passes. Well, go attacking. See if our opponent starts to jump in. Alright, blocks with Frogmite. Sure. A play seeker of the way. Play planes, pass the turn. I mean, we kind of have the Abyss going, as long as we can keep chump blocking and not die to, like, a Tog and Fling or something. Chromatic Star. Bonin attacks with a Tog. Well, that we will chump. Yep. Ugh, more Togs. Yikes. Okay. Opponent's down to one card, though. Another Planes. Well, get in with Trailblazer. Bonin blocks. Play planes, play sky guard, and pass the turn. All right, more artifacts. Opponent goes attacking. Well, block and block. So our opponent's got to sack something to keep the ATOG alive. Yep, draws a card. Prevent the damage to Death Blade. Spring Weave Drum. Opponent passes. Ooh, Cartouche is pretty good. So let's Cartouche on Laguna Bad. And our opponent doesn't know it, but they do have to block or they're dead to Mutagenic Growth. Do they play around Mutagenic Growth? That's a question. If they don't play around it, we steal this win. All right, well, we're going to go for it. If they have something slow rolling, then all right. Mutagenic Growth. Wow! Last card is Dispel. Wow! Alright, opponent takes 10. Pass the turn. Oh, what a what a good last card for our opponent. Main deck Dispel. I don't know Pauper well enough to know if that's normal, but it was good for our opponent there. Opponent, getting frisky. Oh, block, block. Death Blade. Stay at 14. Opponent passes. No land. Oh, it's a land. Hmm... Uh, I think we got to go for the win. If they top decked, then good. Attack, attack. Provoke. Oh, and our opponent scoops it up. All right, we got there. I was nervous that they had something to deal with the Death Blade, but we pulled off the win, and that was, that was impressive because that was, I imagine, about as good as draws get for Affinity. I can't imagine that their draws are much better than that. That was really good. Uh, we probably got to go down some Chow Mano's Blessings, because a lot of our opponent's stuff is colorless. So yeah, let's go down Blessings, bring in Dust, uh, Dust to Dust. Try it like that. Ah, wow. <laughs> All the one mana white cards. Uh, that won't work, though. All right, we're going to try this. It's a little scary if we don't find a one drop or a land. Well... Dust to Dust is really good, but we can't keep it here. Land Spring Leaf Drum. Uh-oh. Still going? All right, opponent passes. Land Go. Well, maybe we should have went to five. Star. Opponent. Well, opponent's got the slow start, too. Land, please? Ugh, more two drops. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Well, I imagine this is one of the ways the deck loses. To itself, so to speak. Frogmite. Oh no, Frogmite. How do they always have two Frogmites? It's like Burning Tree Emissary in Modern. They always have two. Bonet. Passing-ish. Alright, well, Laguna Ben Trailblazer. That's good, that's good. That gives us that gives us a shot here. At least we can start Defiant Striking to draw cards, hopefully. Oh, this hand. Bonet. Adding green. Alright, Prophetic Prism draws a card. Too bad we couldn't have kept our dust to dust. C to the Synod. There's Mirror Enforcer. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, Affinity. You gotta be kidding. <laughs> Do they... Ugh. How? How? How does this always happen? Sax Chromatic Star. No. <laughs> you gotta be joking. Really? Really? You gotta be kidding. Opponent passes. We draw land. We play Seeker of the Way. We pass the turn. We're probably just dead, though. Wow, this draw by Affinity. Oh, that's that's a little a little over the top. 
<laughs> a little ton over the top. Opponent getting frisky with a massive attack. Well, we will. Mutagenic Growth Seeker. Opponent, of course, has a counter. Well, Black Frog might. Black Frog might. Take a ton, gain a little. Opponent passes. More emerged unscathed. Well, that's Ethereal Armor. Pump our Seeker. And pass the turn. Opponent goes attacking. Well, block, block. Defiant Strike, Elder. Pump, pump, pump. Wow, all the Emergence Gaze. We don't actually take any damage here. Are we, are we going to beat this draw by our opponent? Is that possible? If we get to start leaving up Emerged Unscathes. All right, Forger. It's a 4-4. Four -four. Just all the 4-4s. Four Play the Planes. Play Seeker of the Way. Pass the turn. I almost think that we're favored now. Is It sounds ridiculous. Maybe not. Maybe not yet. If we make it one more turn without our Seeker of the Way dying, I think we might be. The lifelink on this Seeker has been insane. Bone and no attacks. All right, well, we will untap. Eh, let's Cartouche, Seeker. Wow, I think we're favored. That was an insane start by Affinity, too. But I think we're actually favored. Yup, pumps everything. Yup. Um, yeah, let's... Hmm, yeah, I think we're gonna attack. Opponent takes it. Pass the turn. Wow, I'm in shock! Well, I guess this is a testament to Seeker of the Way, because... Our opponent had three Frogmites, well, now three. Two Frogmites and three Mirror Enforcers on, like, turn two or turn three. All right, untap. Mutagenic Growth is pretty sweet. Well, let's go attacking. No blocks. All right, so we'll just Defiant Strike Laguna Ban Elder. Draw a card, gain some life. Maybe this deck is actually really good. All right, Planes. Play the land, pass the turn. Back up to 19. Wow. I can't believe we're going to win this. Bone end. Passes. All right. Sure. Well, go attacking. I think our opponent's got to start chumping or we're going to win. Opponent blocks. And blocks. And blocks. And blocks. All right. So we put Forger last. Enforcer first. So we start with Mutagenic Growth. Get some triggers. And I actually think this is all we have to do. Yeah, this block wasn't very good for our opponent. Because one mutagenic growth blows out this block. So we kill this, we kill this. Yeah. Alright. Oh, opponent. Getting frisky. Hmm. Leave no trace, eh? Well, we can't stop that. So I guess we... Emergence gave... Our Laguna Band Trailblazer. That's a good sideboard card for our opponent. So it pumps it. Pro Red. So we gain six. We kill Mirror Enforcer and Frogmite. Play a Trailblazer. Pass the turn. Yeah, that's keeping our opponent in the game. I guess you can cast things of any color if you have Spring Leaf Drum and whatnot. Opponent. Passing. Dark Seal Citadel. All right. So here comes Emerge Unscathed. So we'll just go on our Trailblazer, and we'll go green, go attacking. I think we're still in pretty good shape somehow. All right, opponent's going to chump. So play Deathblade, pass the turn. Flare Husk for our opponent. That's yeah, another chump blocker. Opponent passing. With two Immersion Scathes in hand, I feel like we're still in pretty good shape. Opponent passes. Ugh. Land. All right. Well, attack with Trailblazer. Opponent jumps. Yep. And play the land. Pass the dirt. On an our opponent find. All right. Equips Flare Husk. Sure. And passing. Defiant Strike is good. Any of our enchantments are good here, I think. Opponent passes. Seeker the way. Well, go attacking. Provoke Forger. Yeah, got a block. And prevent the damage. Hit our opponent to six. Play Seeker of the Way. 
And pass the turn. I think we win this coming turn. Hopefully. Oh, thought cast. That's a good draw for our opponent. Two more cards in hand. Opponent. Do they have a way out? Opponent scoops it up. Wow, they drew all lands. All lands, and we got there. Mono White Heroic still getting the job done. Whew, sweet. All right, playing Popper time. And uh, we're heroic -ing. being the hero, playing the hero. And uh, Popper, of course. And this hand seems fine-ish. Actually seems pretty good, if nothing goes horribly awry. Laguna Band, Trailblazer. So what are we trying to protect is the question. Pro Black? Uh, still learning the Popper meta. I'm assuming... So Black Green to me right now says something with a tormented existence, whatever it is. Oh, Wild Mongrel. Okay. Well, I guess it still could be. Play the Plains. And let's just play Skyguard. Pass the turn. So our opponent's Madnessing? Green Black Madness? Interesting. Fume Spitta. That is annoying. Yeah, it's going to make us spend... Mutagenic Growth. Commune with the gods. Alright, mills a bunch of dredgers. Gets... Stinkweed Imp. Well, play the planes. Play Ethereal Armor. Ugh. Yeah. Chowmano's Blessing. I guess we're just going for it. On black. Get in for five. And just hope that this is good enough. Our opponent took Stinkweed, so they're probably playing on, planning on playing and blocking with Stinkweed. And this kind of ruins that plan. I assume most of their removal is black-based. Commune with the gods. Gets Mongrel or Basking Rootwalla. Takes Rootwalla. Cycles Horror. Does some dredging. Ooh, does not dredge. Alright. Well, anything to target this Skyguard is awesome. Bone it. Gets in. Uh, yeah, we'll take it. Yep, here comes Rootwalla. We take some damage. Eh, uh, Hyena Umbra? I mean, just keep pumping? That thing is big. That is a two-turn clock. I'm assuming this is kind of like the exactly dream draw of our deck. Play Trailblazer. Pass the turn. I mean, is there anything our opponent can do? I guess if they have Spore Frog, they can fizzle for a turn, like fog us for a turn. Oh, that was, that felt really good. Okay. Okay, that was, that was pretty impressive. Hmm. I do not know what this deck is. It is a spicy, spicy, madness, dredgy brew. Death Speakers? Maybe we just want Death Speakers? Pro Black, uh, is that worth it? It fizzles removal, but it doesn't really stop. It's not necessarily good at blocking. Maybe we're just favored and we run it back. Holy Light, no. Dust on, no. Sacred Cat, probably not. Lifelink, I think that's for burn. Death Speakers. Yeah, I mean, I guess we just run it back and try to do that again. All right, we'll keep this. Terramorphic Expanse. Basically, the original Evolving Wilds. Well, let's Trailblazer. We don't have any protection spells at the moment. Opponent cracks. And Fume Spitta. And Rot Farm. Yep. We'll play the Plains. I mean, I guess we're going to do the same thing. We're going to have to spend our Mutagenic Growth on the Fume Spitter. Ugh. More Fume Spitters. Okay. We'll let it go. And Chainer's Edict. Uh-oh. Opponent's going to town. Opponent passes. Well, play the planes. This works out. Play Skyguard. Play Cartouche. Now we Mutagenic Growth. Whew. All right. We don't have protection from an actual removal spell. But we have protection from Chainer's Edict. Wickerbur Welder. Okay. Ooh, that's a good one. Well, that's Hyena Umbra. Pump Skyguard. Ethereal Armor. Pump, 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 pump Skyguard. Get in for nine. Pass the turn. Tortured Existence. Might end up being a bit slow. Rot Farm. Bonet passing. Well, let's Defiant Strike. If we draw well, we could just win. Ugh, planes. Alright. 
Go attacking. So we don't win this turn. We're going to need one more turn. Opponent blows up Ethereal Armor. Gets back Fume Spitter. Opponent's at three. Pass the turn. Unless they find a Spore Frog, I think we're okay. Dredges, yup. Up to five. Fume Spitter, yup. We still have Lethal. Opponent plays a Forest. Definitely not blocking. We need to win soon because Fume Spitter on Warrior plus Chainer's Edict would get our opponent out from under this. We'll take the beats. Down to 14. Opponent passes. Well, go attacking. See what happens. Do we get it? Is that game? Fume Spitter's Wicker Burr Welder. Okay. Okay, that's still lethal. That is a tricky, nice, cute little line, but... Tortured Existence. Tortured Existence. And Emerge Unscathed. Do we get there? That was that was well played by our opponent. That was that was a cool line, but huh? I would have never thought of Fume Spitter resetting Wickerbro Elder. That's pretty sweet. I really want to play a Tortured Existence deck at some point because it seems like my kind of deck. Uh, but we'll take it. We'll take the win. Skyguard, pretty big. All right, playing Popper time. We are trying out the Mono White Heroic deck, and and eh, this is basically what we want. Turn one, Heroic Threat, go off with Heroic Threat. <laughs> oh, Popper. We're going to Tantoro Blazer. What a world. What a world we live in, with Popper being a real thing. <laughs> I mean, Defiant Strike even draws us a card. So, Planes and... We're going to Tantoro Blazer. Can't daze that. You don't got no islands. <laughs> Pass the turn. We really need it to live. The nice thing about Laguna Man Trailblazer is it does dodge. It does dodge a lot of removal. It dodges a uh, lightning bolt primarily. And now I think we just try to be careful and protect our Trailblazer. So I think what we probably want to do here is like cartouche. We don't really know what our opponent's playing yet. I think we're going to cartouche though. So this deck, cartouche is protection from edict effects. So if they're playing like a blue black deck, that's more important. Uh, Hyena Umbra protects from other destroy effects. So play the planes. I think we're just going to Cartouche. Pump the Trailblazer. Get a 1-1. One, one. And we'll go beaten down with our 2-6. <laughs> uh, fast the turn. It's a, it's a, little, a little ridiculous. It's kind of working, though. Island for our opponent. Delver Secrets. Sure. And Fairy Miscreant. Yup. Opponent passes. Well, uh, that's Hyena Umbra. On the Trailblazer. We are kind of flooding out. We only have 18 lands in this deck, so this is kind of more lands than we were hoping for. Play the planes. Go attacking. Well, I guess we might as well Defiant Strike. Oh my goodness, more planes. Alright. Well, hit our opponent down to 12. And pass the turn. I mean, I think we're still in pretty good shape here. Maybe that was too greedy. Like, the way this could go wrong would be, like, bounce spell plus days on Emerge Unscathed. That would be bad. Opponent. Getting in. Getting in. Yup. Hits us for four. Sure. Down to 16. And... Yeah, so maybe it was wrong to open ourselves up to days. Alright, unpunished. More lands. Good god. Alright, go attacking. Hit our opponent. Well, that's Emerge Unscathed. Pro blue. Ah, play of planes. I mean, if they have another one, we're in trouble. We are we are flooding severely. Bonnet gets in. They're not scooping, which is bad news. Hits us. Down to 12. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, deck! You betrayed us. You betrayed us to the extreme. All right, here comes Emerge Unscathed. On our warrior, gotcha. Uh, protection from blue. Get in with our warrior. Play Trailblazer. There's the counter. Pass the turn. Well, I mean, uh, how can this work? I think we got to chain together can tripping pump spells now. Opponent ponders. Yeah, we just we've drawn way too many lands. This is the deck where I think we want like three. 
kind of like burn essentially so now that we're up to six that's if we had drawn one more spell through the course of the game we probably would have won already i mean we still maybe could be okay but yeah not not ideal i'm not sure we have a way we can just pump for the win unfortunately opponent getting in yep gets in with the delver hits us down to nine and passes well let's play sky guard opponent has more counters well, Emerge Unscathed, Pro Blue. So we need to draw and resolve a pump spell. That's where we're at. Opponent's down to two. What do you got, opponent? Gushes. Plays an island. Gets in with Delver. Down to six. Well, here comes Emerge Unscathed. On the Warrior. Opponent. Counters. Well, there's Ethereal Armor. Man, we were close. Attack, opponent jumps. Ah! Oh, man. All right. Opponent jumps. Yep. Stays at two. Pass the turn. Wow. Plays an island. Preordains. Do they find another answer? Opponent managed to only draw two lands, which is kind of where our deck wants to be. Uh, leaving them on top. Yeah, that means they found it. All right. Miscreant. Okay, well, we have to draw a protection spell. If we draw a protection spell, we win. If we draw anything else, we lose. And Cartouche doesn't do it, and we scoop it up. Oh boy, that was the saddest of sad. Man, deck, deck, deck. Oh, that was, that was depressing. Now I am assuming this matchup becomes a lot harder now that we uh, go to sideboarding. That would be my guess, at least, is that it is a lot more challenging. So I guess we have Holy Light. I don't even know if Holy Light's worth it, honestly. Yeah, let's not Holy Light. And go down. Jeez. Maybe we just cut more lands, because apparently, <laughs> apparently we're going to draw 50% lands, no matter how many in our deck. Perhaps that is the correct, the correct choice here. Probably just Cartouche. Doesn't seem good against Mono Blue Delver. Try it like that. All right, we get to play first, and we'll try this. I mean, it's okay. So planes and Death Blade Elite. Pass the turn. See what our opponent has. Island and Preordain. I'm assuming they just have like a million bounce spells. Opponent passes. Play the planes. Um, let's get in with Death Blade Elite. Play Seeker of the way. Pass the turn. Another island for our opponent. And passes. Well, play the planes. Go attacking. Pass the turn. Opponent passes. Well, let's keep attacking. Opponent down to 13. Pass the turn. Another land for our opponent. Augur of Bolus. Yep. Finds nothing. Well, let's Cartouche. Opponent's going to Spell Stutter. Well, get in with Seeker of the Way. Play Deathblade and pass the turn. Preordain for our opponent. Man, getting Chalmano's Blessing on something seems pretty game over against Mono Blue Delver. Opponent leaves one on top. Snaps. Well, we're going to go for it. If they got a daze, then good spell pierce all right so opponent bounces our seeker of the way untaps two lands gets it wow going aggro i see okay down to 21 opponent passes i'll go attacking i don't think we want to provoke hit our opponent and yeah let's pass opponent going to combat no attacks this time. And passes. Well, play Seeker of the Way. Alright, there's a counter. Pass the turn. Preordain for our opponent. We've just not gotten a chance to get Chalmano's Blessing on something. Miscreant. Opponent. Passing. Well, play the planes. Hmm. <laughs> Let's Hyena Umbra. Alright, go attacking. Provoke Miscreant. 
So opponent has to block. Yep. Gotta block. Oh, yes. You've been provoked. So opponent blocks. Miscreant, I think, is a better choice because it keeps them from potentially drawing a card. Yeah, that's not going to work. Yeah, opponent blocks. And we'll just pass. We're going to play it slow. We're basically trying to find a window to Chalmano's Blessing without it getting countered. Because against a monocolor deck, once we get that down, it should be almost impossible for our opponent to deal with it. Curse of Chains. Okay, we'll let that go. Opponent gets in with Spell Stutter. Interesting. And passes. Yep, gets tapped down for the time being. Well, that's Hyena Umbra. Go attacking. Kill Spell Stutter. I feel like as long as we play carefully, we should be in pretty good shape. Deathblade Leads actually seems super good against our opponent's deck. So opponent blocks and blocks. We will kill Spell Stutter. And pass the turn. Curse, doing its cursey thing. Opponent... Getting in. Okay. Do they have a ninja? Is that what's happening? Ooh. I don't even think that helps them that much, because then we just kill the ninja. I mean, I guess they cycle, but... Alright. Snap. Well, now's the time to try. Jeez. All the spell pierces. So, Deathblade bounced. Pony gets to untap. Curse tapping. So, play Seeker of the Way, opponent counters, play a land, play Deathblade Elite, pass the turn. Another protection spell to get rid of this Curse of Change would actually be pretty helpful. Opponent, let's see if this works. Mutagenic Growth. Want to do it before we block, because we don't really want to get our Deathblade killed. Alright, opponent has counter spell. Well, we will take one. Here comes the ninja. Well, if there was ever a time to draw something, this is it. Pony gets to draw a card. And passes. Curse tapping. Come on, deck. Ooh. Well, let's Defiant Strike. There we go. Cartouche. That's what we needed. That's exactly what we needed. Now we get to attack, kill the ninja... And we'll just pass. We could get the Curse of Chains off of our other Deathblade, but I think it's better to wait right now. Oh man, we are, we're close. This is a lot grindier than I expected it to be. There's Augur Bolas. Yup. Gush. Sure. Bonet. Bonet. Miscreant. Curse. Tapping. Well, get in. Provoke Miscreant. <laughs> <laughs> I figured this would be aggro and we close out games quickly, but this is a grindy matchup. Pass the turn. I do like double protection spells. That is that is good news. Island. Curse of Janes. Okay. So let's emerge unscathed. And we have been trying to resolve this for a long time. On blue. Get rid of the curse. Curse taps. Emerge coming back. Get rid of the other curse. Opponent spell stutters. Oh, I think we finally got there. Chalmano's blessing. On blue. Get in. And I think we're good. Unless our opponent has some sort of colorless removal we don't know about. So hit our opponent, down to 16, play Skyguard, pass the turn, oh man, wow, that was a lot harder than I imagined it would be. I thought it was going to be easy, but, opponent ponders, I don't know if they have an answer to this, honestly, and our opponent scoops it up, well, we got there, that was a lot harder than I imagined, but we got there, well... I mean, I think this is probably our setup. Dust on, no. Holy Light, still no. Sacred Cat, I don't think. Death Speaker, no. Cartouche, bad. Yeah, I mean, we have a plan. We know what we're trying to do. And that is basically get Chalmano's Blessing on a creature. Ugh.
All right, no creature, so we got a ship. That is one of the risks of this deck. Ooh, all right, there's Deathblade. Kind of like... Kind of like Miracles in, or, or kind of like Boggles in Modern. There's definitely a risk that you just don't draw creatures and have to mulligan. So that's Deathblade. No days. All right, no days. Ideally, Deathblade will be able to eat this Delver. And ideally, this Delver will not flip. All right, no flips. Island. Opponent. Protection spell would be nice. Ponder. Ooh. That means no snap. Delver. All right, so play the planes. Go attacking. Make a Delver block. Mutagenic growth. Kill the Delver. Play Skyguard. Pass the turn. All right, we're down. We got through one Delver. What's our opponent got on top? Gush. Okay. Land. Opponent. Getting in with Delver. Yup. Man, we'd love a protection spell. Opponent hits us. Ooh, Spire Golem. We'll play the land. Go attacking. Kill the Delver. Ooh, interesting. Very interesting. Okay, we can't kill both, right? One, two, three, four. Not without luck. So yeah, put them like that. Defiant Strike. Draw a card. M Mutagenic Growth. Emerged Unscathed. On blue. And Defiant Strike. And pass the turn! Pass the turn! Wow, oh, this is going to be interesting. What's our opponent got? Gets in. Yep. 4 2. That is a big blocker. Down to 11. Opponent passes. Well, let's rebound. Opponent's got the snap, unfortunately. Well, replay Skyguard. Get in with Deathblade. No provoking. Hit our opponent. Oh, pass the turn. Oh, this is so tense. The colorlessness of Spire Golem is actually annoying. Opponent. Oh, Gerbolus. Ugh. Finds a counter spell. Gushes. Plays a land, so they got counter spell mana. Gets in. Yep. Down to nine. Well, we gotta try this. Emerge unscathed. Ooh, no days? That's good. That is that is really big. That gives us some hope. Not sure why our opponent tried that right there. Emerged unscathed. On blue. We draw a land. Well, Cartouche. Get in for five. If our opponent has another another snap, we're in trouble. Down to nine. If they don't have another snap, then we could be okay. Preordain. Looking for the snap. Come on, deck. Come on. Whiff, whiff, bottom. And top. Curse of Chains. So now we need another protection spell. Opponent getting in with everything. Yeah, we take it. Come on, deck. Come on, be good to us. Be good to us. Give us that protection spell. Curse tapping. We'll go attacking. Hit our opponent. Not going to provoke. Down to seven. Play Sky Guard. Pass the turn. Oh, Curse of Chains doesn't even seem very good against us, but it's good there. Opponent. Gets in with both. Hits us. Down to three. We will take it. Passes. This is a big draw step. Big draw step. Ethereal armor. Well, we know our opponent has a counter spell, but ethereal armor. There's the counter. Hit our opponent. No provoking. Well, if they have another bounce spell, it's game. Pass the turn. This is it. This is the end. The end, the end, the end. Someone's dying. Hopefully, it's our opponent. But we're still not in a great position. Opponent. Gets in with Spire Golem. Yep. Down to one. Passes. Come on, big draw. Big draw. Big draw. Oh, no. Well, all we can do is go for it. Attack. Yep. And that does it. Yep. 
good game. Good game. Oh, that first game was brutal. The game where we drew six lands, that was brutal. Mono White Heroic. Oh, that was that was disappointing. That was disappointing. All right, playing Popper time. We are looking to heroic our opponent. And uh yeah, I mean this is this is about right. See what our opponent's up to. Windscard Craig. Yep. Well, Plains and Laguna Man Trailblazer. Pass the turn. Opponent. Ooh, Affinity. Interesting. We have good sideboard cards for Affinity. Icker Wellspring. Draws a card. Yep. I'll play the Plains and uh, what's our best bet? Let's just get down Seeker of the Way and pass. We could have thrown a bunch of spells at our Laguna Band Trailblazer, but it seems better to... It seems like we get more damage by waiting. We could deal a lot of damage next turn. Ugh. Opponent gains two. Lightning Bolt. Uh, sure. <laughs> oh, no. Was that a... Po oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. Wow, I think our opponent clicked the wrong creature. Uh, if it makes our opponent feel any better, we would have mutagenic growth, but that's still pretty brutal. Can we win here? I can't believe I'm saying that. I think the answer is no, but let's... Hyena Umbra? Uh, we probably should have... Oh my god. Well, we punted right back. We should have definitely put that on Trailblazer. I do like having our Seeker protected, though. Cartouche Trailblazer. Wow! All right. Opponent scoops it up. Okay. Um, well, I assume this is the matchup we're bringing in Dust to Dawn. That is my guess. I'm not 100% sure what our opponent's doing. Maybe we should be bringing in Standard Bear. Maybe you just always bring in Standard Bear. Probably go down a couple... Hmm. Like Defiant Strike, Cartouche. Cartouche? Try it like that. Not going to bring in the Standard Bears yet. All right. We got creatures. Only one land, but that's fine. Agent then for our opponent. And Thrabes. Opponent passing. And land's not bad. Play Trailblazer. Ship the turn. Opponent. Garrison. Gonna bounce that Ancient Den. Yep. And passes. We'll play the Plains. Play Skyguard. And pass the turn. There's Ancient Den. Flame Slash. Yeah, that works. We actually can't protect it, unfortunately. We could have protected from Bolt, but that's a little too much. Opponent, passing. Ooh. Well, that'll probably come in handy eventually. Play Seeker of the Way. Pass the turn. Leave up our Emerged Unscathed. More Ancient Dens. Oh, that's what's happening? Opponent's Battle Screeching? Ugh. Hmm. I wonder what we do about that. I wonder if we do do anything about that. Opponent plays a bird. Four birds. Many birds. Well, these are looking... <sighs> Let's go attacking. See what our opponent does. Opponent takes it. Then we will just... Exile... <laughs> Double Stone Rain. I guess we maybe we should have done that pre-combat. I was hoping to, like, jank our opponent into blocking, but... Maybe that just was not happening no matter what. So I guess we're just trying to race the birds. Our opponent having zero lands should help. Firebolt. Well, we got a mutagenic growth to keep it alive. Opponent. Yeah, it's in. Well, we will take it. Play Trailblazer. Hyena Umbra Trailblazer. Get in. I mean, I guess we can try to gain enough life is our goal to race the birds that way. Hit our opponent. Down to 13. We go back up to 17. Pass the turn. Opponent has Lightning Bolt. Well, we will emerge unscathed. We need that to live. That living is important to us. Because we need the life gain. Opponent. Staying frisky with the birds. Alright. Yup. We drop back to 13. Well, emerge unscathed. Target Trailblazer. Defiant Strike is probably our best draw here, I think. Chalmano's Blessing would be interesting. On white. Another Emergence Gate is actually pretty good. Tack with everything. 
Another Emerge Unscathed means if our opponent just tries to keep bolting our stuff, we can keep fizzling it. Plus, Emerge Unscathed is two spells for prowess. Man, are we are we just doing this? The land destruction? The double stone rain? Gonna take down all these tokens? Alright, well. We'll keep Emerge Unscathing. We're not gonna let you kill it, opponent. We're not gonna let ya. <laughs> Uh, they've tried for a lot of turns in a row and failed for just as many turns in a row. Bonabazes. Well, hit Trailblazer. Castable spell would be good. Pro white. Well, go attacking. If our opponent wants to block everything on Seeker, they can. I think we miss sideboarded these Dust Dawns, but they've been. It turned out being awesome. Yeah, opponent's gonna go big block. Unfortunately, we don't have a spell to blow him out, but this is fine. We got a lot of value out of our Seeker. Wipe out three tokens, gain some life. Play Deathblade. Pass the turn. These should be hard for our opponent to kill. Alright, Icker Wellspring. I guess that gives us a target for Dust Dawn. Oh man, Ancient Den. That does too. Oh, I think we're just going to eat another land. <laughs> opponent. Passing. Ooh, Ethereal Armor. Well, I think we go for the win. Ethereal Armor, Trailblazer. Go attacking. Make our opponent block Deathblade. And that should do it. And our opponent scoops it up. All right, we got there. Double Stone Rain. Getting the job done. Sweet. All right, playing Popper time. Mono White, Heroic, and... Oh, this hand. All right. We can go all in on the Deathblade Island for our opponent. And Delver. Well, if they can daze our Deathblade, that's bad. Opponent passes. All right. Well, yeah, play Deathblade. Pass the turn. We want to hopefully provoke and kill this Delver. It would be nice if it didn't blind flip. All right. It's going to flip. But then we are going to kill it. Or we should be able to. We should be able to just Hyena Umbra kill it. Drawing a land would be helpful. Bonnet does flip with a Brainstorm. So they could have, like, Spell Pierce or Daze, which would be annoying. Especially if you don't draw a land. Bonnet plays an Island. Gets in. Well, drawing land to play around Daze is probably our best bet here. Bonnet hits us to 17. Preordain. Well, Daze still gets us unless we draw land. Opponent passes. Land? Mutagenic Growth. That's fine. I'll play Hyena Umbra. Attack. Provoke the Delver. Eat the Delver. I have to say, Deathblade Elite does not look like much, but good god has it been impressive. It is... <laughs> it is so good. It's like our removal spell, but it still fits the theme of our deck and what we want it to do. So now we mostly want to want to find a, a land. If we can get Chowmano's Blessing through the counter spells onto Deathblade. It should basically be impossible for us to lose. Not a land. Well, we're going to keep going. Cartouche. <laughs> Provo <laughs> Provoke Augur. <laughs> ah, it's the world's greatest Deathblade elite. It's just eating. It's eating. Eating the way through our opponent's team. Yup, got a block. Yup, it's dead. I mean, they'll draw a bounce eventually, which is not good. Especially since we're not finding land number two here. Ponders. Hopefully our opponent just keeps running Delvers into <laughs> our endless counters. Opponent. Mountain. Ooh, it's blue-red Delver, I see. Brainstorms. And Flame Slash. Well, that means we need to mutagenic growth. Opponent passes. Well, let's play Trailblazer. Go attacking. Hit our opponent for four. Well, we're still on one land, but I feel like we're actually in pretty good shape. Deathblade. I did not realize Deathblade was so good. Ponders. Lightning Bolts. Well, Mutagenic Growth. Opponent passes. Ooh, that's good. Play the planes. Go attacking. Hit our opponent. Down to 13. Down to 12. Pass the turn. Preordain. Preordain. Not sure what our opponent's looking for. Blessing? Got a daze? Got a scoop? 
<laughs> one or the other. Either you got the... Ah, it's the scoop! All right, good. <laughs> we knew it was one or the other. It was either the days or the concession, and it was a concession. <laughs> Maybe this deck just feasts on Delver. Maybe that's the entire reason this deck is good. Do we even want to change anything? I feel like this deck might just be really good against Delver. I mean, I guess Standard Bear is fine. Let's just let's just run it like this. I think this might be just the Delver Annihilator. All right. I'd rather have a one drop than two two drop threats, but this is fine enough. Evolving Wilds. The problem with the two drop threats on the, especially, ugh, more lands, especially on the draw, is it does get hit by your opponent's counters potentially. Opponent grabs a Mountain Island. And Augur. G Augur of Bolas. <laughs> uh, yeah, Pol a null. All right, yeah? Okay. You can annul us. Planes, and I think we just Seeker. Seeker dodges Flame Slash with Mutagenic Growth. A Crowan Skyguard does not. That's my argument, at least. A Crowan Skyguard is. Yeah. All right, we're going to do it. Ugh. Yeah, that wasn't a great way for that to go down. Drawing a one drop would be nice. So opponent counters and kills our Seeker. One drop Chalmano's Blessing. That's what we really want. Opponent gets in. Come on, one drop. That's a one drop. So play Laguna Band Trailblazer. Chalmano's Blessing on blue. Because I don't think they're actually going to be able to bolt their way through this very easily. Hopefully not. That would be sad. All right. Only one blue source means it's pretty unlikely. Opponent gets in for one in the air. Yup. Well, now it's race time. Really? You're going to ninja me. Opponent ninjas. Gets in for two. Oh, play the planes. Play sky guard. Opponent counter spells. Pass the turn. Yeah, I think we do have to stay on defense for the moment. Because we can't let them just keep drawing with Ninja. Opponent gushes. Picks up some lands. Plays land. Preordains. The other problem is if we Defiant Strike, you know they're going to counter it. There's a Delver. Oh, boy. That's a fast clock in the air. Well, let's Defiant Strike. There's a Spell Stutter. All right, Dak, you can do it. You can do it. Defiant Strike. Draw. Planes. Uh-oh. Play Trailblazer. Yeah, we're we're actually in really bad shape now. Opponent gets to Brainstorm to flip the Delver. Yeah, we're just going to lose to Delver, I'm pretty sure. This pretty much guarantees the flip. Delver does flip with uh, more Nulls. Plays a land. Gets in for five in the air. Yeah, I don't know how we get around this. I think it's went too far. Our opponent, I think, wins the control match. Ethereal Armor. Good and all target. Oh, boy. Spell Stutter. Yeah, we're super dead now. Yeah, pass the turn. But, yeah, we're, we're just dead. We'll draw one more card, but we are dead. Opponent. More Gushing. Man, Gush is so good. It's kind of like a draw four for free. Opponent. Another Delver. Goes attacking. Yep. Found a six. Ethereal armor, and we're dead. All right. Good news is, really good news is, we get to uh, be on the play for game number three, which is where we want to be. We want to be playing the one drop, start pumping the one drop. Those are our best draws. <sighs> I still don't think Holy Light's good enough. Let's run it back. All right. We're going to try. We don't have our one drop. We have... A great card in Skyguard if we can get it to live. Whether or not we can get it to live, definitely up for debate. Also, Daze is a thing now. I think this hand is too good to mulligan, though, unfortunately. Opponent leads on Swiftwater Cliffs. Well, no Daze to worry about. Play the Plains. Play Skyguard. Pass the turn. Hope that this mutagenic growth is enough. If we get to untap with Skyguard, we're in really good shape. Island. Yep, cannot do a thing about that. And they got the Delver. They always have the Delver. I don't know why you ever expect the Delver deck to not have the Delver. Seeker the way, play the planes, pass the turn. Actually, uh, yeah, let's pass. I don't think we just need to Ethereal Armor. Come on, no blind flipping. No blind flipping. 
No blind flip. Good. Funnel plays an island. Lightning bolt. So we mutagenic growth. Two pump. Miscreant for our opponent. And passes. Well, let's cartouche. Opponent annuls. So let's ethereal armor. Get in for five. Opponent's down to two cards. We're up to 23. Oh, this is, this is it. This is it. We're coming right down to the end. Do they get the flip? No. Delver. Two cards still. Evolving Wild. One card. Opponent. Getting in. Yup. We'll take it. We draw Mutagenic Growth. I think we're going to go for it. Chow Mano's Blessing. All right. Opponent's last card was another Annul. Well, we go attacking. Hit our opponent for four. Uh, yep. Down to 12. Pass the turn. Up to 25. Does Delver flip? Are we going to get the four one? Are we going to take this win? No flip. No flip. So it's a land or a creature. If it's a creature, hopefully it's not Ninja. That's the one creature I'd rather not see. Tax with everything. Down to 22. It's a land. Opponent passes. We draw. It's a blessing. It's a blessing. Chamano's blessing. Gonna resolve this time. And we're gonna go blue. I think we can defend. Yeah, we're gonna force. We're gonna force the issue. Mutagenic growth. And I think this does it. I think we got there. Because if our opponent. Yeah. Pro blue means they can't block. If they draw like a flame slash, a Murthunge Skage saves it. They shouldn't have any red creatures. So I think this locks in the 4 1. I think we did it. Wow! This deck is legit! This is this deck is super legit. Bone it. What do they got? What do they got? I don't think there's a thing that saves them with a merge unscathed in hand. And we got the GG's! We got there! It's a Delver! More Delvers, no flipping. Our opponent's got the worst Delver luck. That's like our Delver luck. Well, not bad! Not bad with Mono White Heroic. So our only loss was to Mono Blue Delver. And I'm still a little sad. We were super close to just 5 0 with this deck. It felt really legit and really good. Uh, yeah? Uh, that means we get to crack open some treasure chests here before we get to the wrap-up. So let's crack open these chests, and then we will do the wrap-up in a minute. So four chests to open. Chest one of four for our heroic performance. <laughs> Ten play points. Well, I guess these are pauper legal cards. Kind of on flavor. 15 play points. All right, so if we stay in order, the next one should be 20 play points <laughs> and two horrible commons. Oh, man. I'm wishing for 20 play points. Aligned Hedron Network. That's like the worst. At least we got an uncommon. Well, last one. Can our chests redeem themselves? Well, we got a mythic. It's a mythic that I like. Temporal Trespass is sweet, but it's not really playable. Ooh, double, double, double rare. Chrome Scale Drake. We got the double super expensive blue card that gets cheaper for some reason. Car <laughs> Treasure chest. <laughs> ah! All right. Well, Mono White Heroic was sweet. We'll be right back with the wrap up. So what do we learn this week about Mono White Heroic in Pauper? And overall, we played a Pauper League. We went four and one. And I think our one, I feel like Delver is actually one of our best matchups with this deck. So I feel like a combination of being inexperienced with the deck. Like there was one time when I was editing the video, I realized we could have blocked with our death blade elite and protect, uh, prevented the damage. And that would have stopped a ninja activation, stopped our opponent from drawing a card. So it's, very possible that we should have won that match if we were more experienced with the deck and the things in the deck, because Pauper's weird. Like, in Modern, you can kind of get away, or at least I can kind of get away with just playing random decks to some extent, because I've just played Modern so much, and I know all the cards, even the weird cards, from doing Against the Odds and Much Brew About Nothing. So it's not that hard to just pick up a random Modern deck, but for me, picking up a random Pauper deck, some of these cards I've never played with, like Definitely Delete, I wasn't playing Limited when that was in the format. I think I played in Vintage Masters, but I have very little experience playing with that, or Chow Mano's Blessing. That's another card. It's before my time as far as playing Limited or Standard, so this is the first time I've ever really playing with them. So it's a bigger learning curve, I think, for me than some of the other formats, but despite that limitation, the deck was great. Like, it felt very, very strong. So we lost the one three-game match to Mono Blue Delver, which, again, I feel like that's a really good matchup. We can get on the board on turn one, especially on the 
that play if we win the die roll before our opponent can leave up a daze. And then Chow Mano's Blessing is just literally good game. We're playing this weird sub game where we're just trying to find a window where we can resolve Chow Mano's Blessing on blue. And then it's very hard for our opponent to win, deal with our board, do anything. And because Chow Mano's Blessing has flash, we have a lot more opportunities to find that window to sneak it in and win the game. Plus, Deathblade Elite just kills Delvers like crazy and all the other things in their deck. So overall, 4-1, and one, lost to Blue Delver, kind of crushed everything else, and I feel like this deck is super competitive. I feel like this is a legit pauper deck, and I was really impressed with it. It looks a little bit janky, it looks a little bit weird, but it really has answers for most matchups. If not in the main deck, then you have stuff in the sideboard, the Dust to Dust for Affinity, for example, other artifact-based decks. We got pretty much all of our bases covered so i feel like this deck is actually really really good it gets in fast it can win games early if we get the right draw just heroic creatures mutagenic gross you probably noticed from the old version that we instant deck teched it doesn't have the double strike spells but i guess they aren't really all that necessary we're not as all in on like janking out the game instead we're a little bit more controlling and slower we're still fast but compared to the other build that had double cleaves and stuff to try to just jank out and wins that way we're trying to get the chow Mano's blessing on something and win over the course of like three turns four turns with one big creature with protection from our opponent's colors rather than steal a win even though it's kind of high risk with double cleave where our opponent could blow us out with removal so overall I don't have any major criticism of the deck. It just, it felt good. I think Deathblade Elite was a surprise all-star for me. Definitely underestimated how good that was. It was killing so many things. Putting a Hyena Umbra or a Ethereal Armor on it is just absolutely devastating. You just attack and kill a creature every single turn and eat through your opponent's board. Having eight protection spells is really good for blowing out removal. Mutagenic Growth is also kind of a protection spell in some matchups, pumping our creatures out of Lightning Bolt range. And Laguna Band Trailblazer is just weirdly resilient like it dodges lightning bolt all the time it just feels so good against delver when you just go turn one laguna band trailblazer against the delver deck and they can't daze it they can't lightning bolt it it feels like you're just winning and going to win right from turn one when that resolves it's just so good in that situation because then you just sit on your emergence case sit on your chow manos blessings get in some damage here and there and if your opponent ever tries to snap or unsummon or whatever they're using to try to blow out your creature plan then you just give a protection keep attacking win the game so overall i think the deck is really fun if you like heroic or like bogglesy style deck it feels a little bit bogglesy not as much about putting enchantments on creatures although it has a little bit of that i guess it's like somewhat a cross between heroic and boggle so i don't know you don't have the hexproof creatures instead you're spell slinging to give your creatures protection but if you like that style of deck where you're trying to voltron up one big creature i feel like model heroic is a really competitive deck for popper because if we just played four different decks we played four different matchups all mostly tier matchups i think in the power format going in dark never having played this deck before not knowing the pauper format all that well and just went for one if you actually know pauper and know the matchups inside and out i feel like you could do really really well with mono white heroic so anyway that's been her playing pauper for this week mono white heroic for pauper thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and i will talk to you soon Thanks for watching the video! If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.